Hello everybody, welcome back to another Jurassic World Dominion unboxing review. Today we have the sound slashing Therizinosaurus from Jurassic World Dominion. And this guy is just absolutely awesome. I mean, look at this. He's huge. Um, let's get in some detail. So the box is pretty much the same. We turn around the box. It's pretty much the same stuff, guys. You already know this. Um, let's get this guy unboxed. So here we have the Jurassic World Dominion Sound Slashing Therizinosaurus toy. And let's just go in some review on how it looks. So it is actually fairly big. Um, its claws are ginormous. Um, the head sculpt is very well. It looks very much there, Xenosaurus like. Um, there's feathers going all the way down the body. There's this white kind of coloring going down there. And then there's some like red feathering going down the back right there. Um, the feet are painted in a gray color, and the whole rest of the body is painted in kind of like a darkish bluish color. The red is kind of, the, the eye is kind of red right around there. The jaws are pretty detailed, pretty good. Um, the other side looks pretty cool too. Uh, let's see, let's get that scan code because I know you guys like that scan code, so I'm gonna give you guys the scan code. And there is the scan code. Shoot, let me uh, get that for you guys. If you weren't able to get the scan code, just leave down in the comments below, and I will make a short video for you guys just for that scan code. Um, so yeah, here is the sound slashing. There's Enosaurus. Um, let me show you his action feature. He does that, and he goes side to side, like that, a slashing feature. Here is Ray Arnold compared to the Therizinosaurus, so you guys can already tell he is huge. Just look at this guy, he's massive. So, uh, there he is, and he's going to attack Ray Arnold. Ah... Uh... Rawr. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this guy is just so awesome. Now, there is actually a ball joint in the knee, so the knees can swivel around too, which is very nice. Um, the head is on a ball joint as well, so the head can swivel around. That is very cool. Um, the arms, actually, there is one, two, three. Three articulatable places in the arms. There is one in the shoulder, looks like the middle part of the arm, and then the hand, which is very cool. Too bad they couldn't have articulation in the fingers, but that would have been really cool if they could have. But still, overall, guys, this is a very awesome figure. Um, let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and bye-bye.